Okay, first off, don't be fooled by the title. No, we haven't been hacked again. This is a real anomaly, dangerous in its own way, even though its name doesn't really do it justice. I think it's best if we just dive straight into the article. Item number SCP-3270 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-3270 is to be kept within a storage locker on Site-64. All photos of SCP-3270 are to be deleted upon discovery, excluding photos of any copies of SCP-3270. Instances of SCP-3270-1 are to be kept at Site-88, but otherwise are allowed to roam the facility freely, with the exception of areas limited to Foundation personnel. Instances of SCP-3270-1 are to be fed cooked fish and milk at regular intervals. Requests for toys and other amenities are to be approved by 3 Class B personnel on Site-88, though requests cannot exceed 30 US dollars in cost. Description SCP-3270 is a painting depicting a cat resting on a pillow. Viewing SCP-3270 directly or indirectly causes the viewer to undergo various physical and mental changes over the course of several months. See Document 3270-1 this effect does not apply to copies of SCP-3270, either through printing or recreation. Viewers of SCP-3270 are to be classified as instances of SCP-3270-1. Document 3270-1 Initial Viewing Viewers will express admiration for SCP-3270. Viewers who viewed a copy of SCP-3270 and expressed apathy or disapproval before viewing SCP-3270 will still express admiration for SCP-3270. One hour after initial viewing, viewers will exhibit increased enthusiasm, curiosity, and generally have a more positive outlook on life. One day after initial viewing, viewers will show increased interest in felines through looking at pictures, videos of common house cats, purchasing clothing, furniture, or other objects depicting cats, or adopting pet cats. One week after initial viewing, viewers will begin recommending others begin adopting cats as pets, as well as recommend viewing SCP-3270. Three weeks after initial viewing, viewers will begin exhibiting cat-like behavior, such as licking themselves as a substitute for more usual means of bathing, preferring to eat food on the floor, and walking using both their arms and legs. Two months after initial viewing, Viewers will show increased body hair growth. Four months after initial viewing, viewers' skeletal system will begin to shrink, with their muscles and skin doing the same. Five months after initial viewing, other miscellaneous changes to the viewer's body will occur, such as ears changing shape and location, eyes restructuring to resemble those of house cats, and loss of thumbs and fingers, in place of a language typical of house cats. Six months after initial viewing, instances of SCP-3270-1 are physically identical to a non-anomalous house cat, though are able to still speak, despite not having the needed organs to do so. The psychological effects of SCP-3270 listed above have dissipated at this point. Instances of SCP-3270-1 will have the lifespan of an average human, though are able to be terminated by normal means. Interview 3270-1 Interviewed Dr. Allison, an instance of SCP-3270-1 Interviewer Dr. Grenro-1 Forward Dr. Allison willingly viewed SCP-3270. This interview was conducted 8 months after initial viewing. Begin Log Why did you willingly view SCP-3270? Curiosity, mostly. How would you describe the process of transforming into an instance of SCP-3270-1? It felt alright at first, like I'd found a new hobby. Then when it got to actually turning into a cat, it got excruciatingly painful. What is your opinion on SCP-3270? It ruined my life. I'm speaking of the artistic quality of SCP-3270. Dr. Gwen Rowan passes a copy of SCP-3270 to SCP-3270-1. Oh, yeah. I guess it's cute. And no. <sighs> Here we go. First, the name of this anomaly is wrong. 
it doesn't describe its effects well at all. Second, even as someone who likes anthropomorphic designs, I wouldn't wish the effects of SCP-3270 on my worst enemy. Sure, being a carefree cat sounds nice, until you realize you still have the anxious brain and personality of a human, but now you're unable to enjoy anything that used to make you happy. All sources confirm that this anomaly is indeed in the custody of the Foundation, for reasons I, as usual, can't quite understand. Luckily, its effects are limited to the original portrait, but I can see how it can be used for much darker purposes. All I know, agents, is that this anomaly is definitely on my list of things that need to be burned until nothing remains. I am Virostris Anonimo, we are the GOC, and you have been informed.